Hi guys, welcome back. Still on the Android Quiz app integration with SQLite database. I got a question that how can one get to randomize the questions that's the quiz questions and I'll quickly point out on how to achieve this. You could randomize questions uh, when it comes to Java programming using the random class of the collections shuffle method. In the random class, uh, the random class generates a random integers, doubles, longs, and so on in various ranges, which can be used to randomize a particular set of figure. Uh, mostly, uh, you can randomize integers between 0 and n, which is the nth uh, index. And if you're using the collection shuffle method, uh, this will uh, randomize and permutate the specified list using a default source of randomness. So I'll actually head straight to Android Studio where I have the source and we'll be uh, spitting out a random questions uh, using the random class and also the collections shuffle method. Firstly, you have to know where to random where to actually uh, get the random method speeded on. Uh, if you should notice, in the DB helper where we have uh, the database name, uh, where we get to create the table, and also have the questions, uh, and uh, you have the upgrade, and uh, you have the add questions, which assisted, just like a helper method, to add each of the questions. and. Uh, you get all questions. Now you want to extract all the questions from the SQLite database. So this is a perfect place to actually uh, make a random of the question. And firstly, we'll be using the random red class. And you only use the random class right there in the SQL query. Uh, if you should notice right there in the select query method string, uh, you select all from the table name and uh, you order by you order the selection uh, mostly you order by ascending or descending now you could order by random shuffling of the questions so that will actually shuffle the uh, questions uh, probably if you have like 20 50 100 questions right there in the SQLite database this random order by inclusion will shuffle those questions and uh, you're going to have it in a randomized form so you have that right there in the query uh, so you have a random question you could also use the shuffle method uh, from the collections probably after you might have uh, added the, the questions or the, the, the data you got to a list which uh, is being instantiated to an array list over here so you could still shuffle uh, this list uh, calling the collections class uh, to the shuffle method. So with this line, uh, the questions will get shuffled. So I actually use the two, so we're going to have a, cons a consistent uh, random questions. Uh, so you could decide to just order your query by the random class. Uh, this is actually going to uh, shuffle the questions or shuffle the this data which uh, is being uh, queried from the database. And you could also uh, shuffle the list, uh, the array list, uh, which the data are uh, being saved to, which is the question list over here. So these two uh, integration will actually give you a random flow of uh, the quiz questions, and you can also use it in different aspects of your application when you need a random uh, selection of data. You could call the collections the shuffle method, or you could call the random class to the order by when you're trying to select data from the database. So with this now, you have that R set up and fixed. I'll actually test this out so you could see how the shuffle uh, is being done. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. This is quite simple and also a little bit tricky. But once you have that uh, sorted and you have that at the back of your mind, you get that uh, crossed out anytime. Thank you guys one more time. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. And I'll be committing this uh, inclusion to the GitHub. So you could also pick the source code from there. Bye-bye for now.